to another edition of the TLR Cup Tours going 90. And uh, my guest today is the boss, my boss. Brad's back there, Brad's boss, right? <laughs> and uh, it's been a long time since you've been on a sled going 90. Yeah. But you go 90 in a truck a lot. Yeah, on yeah. the way here, I did. You yes. like that? Yeah. It was yeah. all good, it was all good, all good. So you have maybe the most unthankful job on the TLR Cup Tour. Definitely. The only good thing is I got people like you to make me look good. Huh? It's a hard job. I'll tell you, we've done a great job this year, you guys. I'm really, really proud of these two guys that help out here, and, uh, and I hope you guys are enjoying all of this because they put a lot of hard work into it. It's a lot of fun. You know, we, it's, it's great to see people on the weekend we like, we get to know, and, uh, and have a good time doing it. So tell everybody a little bit about your snowmobile racing history. Well, I never really raced in my life. I did a few laps on a vintage sled. Uh, when I was young, I used to hang out with my fingers through the fence at Ironwood, yeah. and when my dad raced, uh, back in 1974, 75, and, uh, you know, kind of just loved the sport. Yeah. And, uh... You and I were probably there next to each other in Ironwood. Probably. Yeah. I was the cool kid. Yeah, I was the one with my tongue stuck <laughs> on the pole. <laughs> so, <laughs> but that's just the way it goes. <laughs> you spent a number of years at the Derby track working there, so you've got a lot of experience, and you try to bring that to the national level on the tour. I did, you know, I came out of the, li the liquor business as a salesman, and I went to work for the Derby track, and I worked there for 13 years, and, you know, when, when you can work with what you love, it, it's fun, and, and yeah. what's so neat about the snowmobile sport is the passion that drives it, and, and most of these people remember watching races or riding with their dads or their favorite sled that they had, and, you know, and then you get to the champ level, like we're at right here with the TLR Cup, you know, and now you're like the, the Indy 500 oh, yeah. of, you know, the technology that's there today, and looking at these guys, and, you know, you know, as they tell me, they're not drivers anymore. They're athletes, you know. And yeah. if you actually see them out there, they are athletes. Uh, you got to be in shape to do what you do. A uh, little plug out there to Glenn Hart, you know, for an old guy. Oh, yeah. He's an athlete, too, you know. Yeah. I mean, um, little, look, look at this guy. He's going to be a factor this year. Now, and, you know, Brad and I are holding out for another class. I don't know if he told you or not. No, what's you know, that? Drivers are over 250 pounds, and the sleds are under 30 horse. <laughs> So, a, I, a new name, a, a new meaning for the one lugger, or yeah. lo, lunger, lunger, lunger. So, as much fun as it is, we're going to go 90 with you. You ready? Okay, I'm ready. All right, so Brad's going to put 90 seconds up on the clock. Okay. And we're going to go from, we're going to go to town. You ready? Okay, I'm ready. Cake or pie? A pie. Couch or recliner? A couch. Phone call or text? No, something you answer. Um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm getting away from phone calls. I like, <laughs> I'm, I'm a texter. All right. Um, you like tattoos or piercings? I like piercings. Okay. M&M's, plain or peanut? Peanut. Now, we can break the rules. Tell me a little bit about the goodie box you take to Valcourt. Ooh, well, the goodie box. Well, anybody knows me that's been with me in a truck when I travel, uh, I'm a candy fanatic. And I got, like, you know, cool. you know, you see them boxes now that say, you know, like, whatever it is, you can get five for five bucks or yeah. ten, you know. When I go to Valcourt, there'll be 12 to 20 of them in there <laughs> with beef jerky and everything else. I should... I should weigh 200 pounds, but well, it's a good thing I'm, you don't. I'm a buck 79. I'm lying. <laughs> yeah, and I'm 210. All right, <laughs> beef jerky or almonds? Beef jerky. Adele or Beyonce? Who's that? Ranch or mayo? Mayo. Uh, chess or checkers? Chess. Kisses or hugs? Kisses. Ooh, that's that's a chocolate question. You know yeah, that, right? Yeah, chocolate yeah. kisses. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Big Bang Theory or South Park? Uh, Big Bang. Full beard or a goatee? Uh, goatee. Yeah? Hamburger or brat? Hamburger. Blonde or redhead? Uh, blonde. Would you rather be super smart or superhero? Both. Yeah. White bread or wheat bread? White. Bacon or sausage? Sausage patties. Okay. You want to take a dancing class or a cooking class? Cooking. You want to go to a concert or a movie? Concert. Red Bull or Monster? Red Bull. 90 seconds with my boss. <laughs> And as long as we're doing this, I just want to say thanks. I'm having a ball. Hey, thank you. Uh, and you know what, you guys? If you see him out and about or give him... Give him an email. Just thank this guy because honestly, without him, he makes this he makes this whole thing come together, you know. And and uh, it, it's just fun working with both these guys. So thank you. Now, Brad, we'll talk about the edit on that, okay? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Stay tuned. We'll bring you another edition of Going 90 with the TLR Cup Tour.